Each year, on the 11th of July, the world is reminded how over 8,000 men and boys were murdered within a period of five days. This year, the youngest victim of genocide, a newborn baby girl who was taken from her mother before she could give her a name, was laid to rest alongside her father. The unspeakable act of brutality that overshadowed Srebrenica, a designated UN safe zone, on the 11th of July 1995, echoed the failure of humanity to prevent genocide, marking it as the worst crime in Europe since the Second World War. The horror of the Srebrenica genocide did not end after the murders. Shortly after the killings, in an attempt to cover up the crime, the bodies were exhumed using bulldozers and reburied elsewhere. For years, the fate of the victims was unknown. Since the inception of the International Commission for Missing Persons, victims in mass graves are being exhumed. It stores the remains at their laboratories and identifies victims using a process of DNA testing, matching blood samples. This process has resulted in the identification of over 5,000 victims to date. Zovem se Emir Ahmedić. Zovem se Ispred Muharović. Ja se zovem Ujić Mejra. Zovem se Ahmedin Salčinović. Begić Selma. Hasanović Selima. Ja sam Mesut Mustafić. Zovem se Kada Hotić. Bumbulović Zife. Halilović Zine. Murat Muratović. Zorović Bjazić. Bišić. Zorović Bjazić. Zorović Bjazić. Zorović Bjazić. Ja se zovem Mujić Yusuf. Zorović Bjazić. 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 Zorović Bjazić.